we're going to be talking about the different parts of the stage today. The first one is the proscenium. You saw that in the video, and I'll be showing you another photo of it. It's the archway that frames the enclosing of the visible stage. Uh, the next is the acting area, which is a portion of the stage used by actors during the play, followed by the apron, which is the section of the stage in front of the curtain. Backstage, we did a lot of tours of backstage as well as the wings. What we didn't take a look at was our green room, which is where our actors prepare to uh, get ready to perform. Uh, and finally, we did take a look at the flies. The flies are the area above the stage, and I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to reference this area quite a bit, but it is our fly space where there is an electric. Uh, you'll see some border curtains. Uh, as well as the back wall. Uh, this is where a lot of our lighting instruments hang as well as our cyclorama and our legs. We'll reference all of that throughout the quarter. You'll also see that we have what's called a proscenium style stage. So that wood that frames the theater, that frames the stage, is called a proscenium. This comes from Greek theater, which we'll talk about later on in class. I wanted to take a moment to talk about this photo here. Uh, it does a really good job sort of capturing what it is that we're talking about. So you'll see here the apron, which is in front of the uh, grand drape or the main act curtain. Uh, the proscenium here would go all the way across and frame, okay? So you've got the apron in front of downstage of the main act curtain. You have stage right, which appears to be our left because we're the audience, but if we're the actor on the stage, we're going to be stage right. And then you have the audience's right, which is stage left. Over here, we have the backstage area, the offstage area with the wings, uh, and then also the acting area. Up top here, you're going to see the border curtain. We're going to take a look at another image now, which goes more in detail with the different uh, types of curtains in the fly space. This other image here is a little bit more heady, which is why I'm showing it second. I want you to be able to see something uh, with more contrast um, and is a bit more palatable. But I want you to take note of this person right here. This is a six foot tall person. So compared, just imagine just how big this is. Typically in a theater, the fly space is twice the height of the stage. This is so any uh, cyclorama or backdrop can fly completely up and out of sight of the audience. I'm just gonna go down these now. So a cyclorama, uh, this blue fabric here, basically is a way to put light onto a piece of fabric in order to make it look like a sky. You'll hear us reference this called psych quite a bit. Um, we also have backdrops that fly in and out of the space. Uh, we have legs. Legs are usually no longer than about eight feet in width and they help hide the backstage, we call this masking. Uh, we're not going to worry about the Tormentor curtain, we don't have one in our space, uh, but we are going to talk about the front curtain or the act curtain. In our space it is also red, so this is a really great picture for us to talk about. This curtain opens and closes, uh, sometimes it rises up and comes down, but it typically um, is used to hide action on the stage. Uh, either before a show or during intermission. We also have the proscenium, which frames the stage. We've talked about that quite a bit, as well as the apron right here, although that's not labeled. It's labeled as the orchestra pit because this apron piece travels down below uh, and allows for the orchestra to be there. We also have the wings, again, another uh, six foot person to give you an idea of just how big this is, as well as fly rail where we coordinate how everything flies in and out. You can see this line here representing rope. We also have fly bars right here. We also call these battens um, as well as border curtains. Border curtains go across and hide 
all of the lighting equipment in order to make you feel even more like uh, you're not in a theatrical experience. Um, as a director, I enjoy showing the lights uh, to give it more of a rock concert feel. Um, and the lights usually give a lot of texture to the performances. But some directors prefer no lights being shown at all, and so they use these border curtains to hide the lights. It is important to note that the reason why we used to have fly systems and still have fly systems is because in theaters there were not, were not a lot of wing space. And so the only way, but there was a lot of vertical uh, height, vertical property. So the only way that they were able to get scenery in an offstage was going up and out. You'll even see this on Broadway quite a bit. Uh, although the new touring uh, theaters as well as high schools typically have a lot of wing space and some have fly space. Again, just for good measure, I'm gonna show you these terminologies with their definitions so that you can pause this video at any time. The auditorium is where the audience sits. We also call this the house. Um, a rake, which we do not have, is a slant uh, on the stage or in the auditorium, which we do have uh, in order to accommodate for the sight lines. We did go over these uh, in the photo. I'll show you that one more time at the end, but you'll see right here the definitions for the grand drape, the act curtain, the travelers, any masking, which includes flats, drops, uh, in order to hide backstage, the legs, teaser curtains, also known as border curtains, and a curtain line, which is the imaginary line that the curtain touches when it is closed, and in front of the main uh, act curtain is the apron. So here you'll see the definitions for a backdrop, uh, a batten, and a fly, as well as a flat. And I showed you in our tour of the theater where our flats are stored. Uh, you'll see a platform. We'll be building lots of these once we get in person. And a wagon, which is basically a platform on wheels. And finally, a floor plan. Uh, you are going to create a floor plan now of a theater with different um, areas of the stage. So please head into Schoology to complete the next part of the lesson.